Hello and welcome. My name is Zuhair Ahmed, Senior Product Manager at MongoDB, and I'm here to give you a quick demo of our new integration with CDK for MongoDB Atlas, and of course, everyone's favorite programming language, TypeScript. If you're ready, let's get started. So a typical MongoDB Atlas deployment will consist of these four resources, a project, cluster, database user, and a project IP access. You're almost always going to be need requiring these four resources. Uh, and just in a nutshell, uh, you can think of a project as the overall home for your other MongoDB Atlas resources. Your cluster is, of course, your database cluster. Your database user resource helps create a username and password to then access that cluster. Uh, and the project IP access list is the whitelist um, that it has permissions to access that cluster. So if you're going to deploy these four resources in AWS CloudFormation in a tool like JSON, you would need to write approximately 300 lines of code. Now it's not just writing those code, uh, writing those lines of code the first time around. You also need to maintain those 300 lines of JSON, uh, which could be a lot depending on you know the size of your code base and especially as you begin to scale and grow. You know, you get to have different um, parameters and, and, and different combinations. That number can easily double or, or triple. So to help reduce some of the developer friction, uh, we're excited to uh, demonstrate the uh, CDK Level 3 resource uh, for these uh, uh, cloud formation resources uh, called Atlas Basic. And Atlas Basic will effectively deploy under the hood these for exact resources. And you know, in addition to just you know, the, the, the benefits in the developer uh, re reduction of developer friction from having to you know, actually remember and, and deploy four resources instead of one, you also get the benefit of that one resource having fewer lines of code. How much fewer lines of code? Well, about 100. Uh, and we'll be doing this in TypeScript, but that represents um, you know, going down from 300 lines of JSON to 100 lines of TypeScript or 200 fewer lines, which is, which is great. Um, you know, so if you're looking for 3x productivity, this is you know, one easy way to, to get started. Okay, with that out of the way, uh, let's talk about some required setup before we begin. Uh, so first, uh, not surprisingly, you're gonna need to create a MongoDB Atlas account if you don't have one. Uh, this is easy to do and there are plenty of resources online uh, to, to get started from there. Uh, you will also need to create a AWS account as well as have the AWS CLI or the command line interface installed and configured. Uh, and we mean, by configured, we mean AWS config. Uh, so making sure that you are have your right AWS account and your region uh, connected to, to, that, to that profile within your AWS CLI. Um, you need to activate, again, remember, since we're, uh, this is using the AWS CDK, which is an abstraction built on top of CloudFormation, you still need to activate those MongoDB Atlas CloudFormation resources in your AWS region of choice. So those four resources that we talked about, um, project, cluster, database user, IP access list, you need to be able to activate those four uh, in your AWS account for each region that you're playing. Again, you only have to do this once um, you know, over the lifetime of your application. Um, and then last but not least, as best security practices, uh, you don't want to be hard coding your sensitive um, programmatic API key secrets uh, in your code base. Um, uh, you can alternatively use environment variables uh, where we're usually recommending uh, to store in a secret standard. So, um, you know, we're, we're recommending that you store your MongoDB Atlas programmatic API keys in AWS Secrets Manager, uh, which is tightly coupled with uh, AWS CDK and, and, and CloudFormation. Um, this will basically allow um, AWS CDK to pull your Atlas uh, packs or programming API keys uh, to then deploy uh, your, your Atlas clusters and other resources. All right, uh, so first things first, uh, I created an empty directory um, uh, I'm here in, uh, in VS Code, uh, which is my favorite IDE. Um, and to get started, if uh, you you've haven't set up anything before in AWS CDK, uh, we're going to have to install that package from uh, NPM or Node Package Manager. And uh, I've included the dash G or the, the, the global flag. Um, as you can see, this is already installed on the machine. So that's great. 
Uh, it may take a little bit longer if, if you haven't already. Um, next, we are going to bootstrap. Uh, and this is basically going to tell uh, the CDK uh, our specific AWS account number uh, and the region uh, that we want to be uh, associated with. Um, this behind the scenes is going to be spinning up uh, some required infrastructure that CDK leverages, uh, primarily in Amazon S3 Bucket, uh, um, as well as some other cloud information resources. Uh, I see a green check mark, so that's great. Uh, and then next up, we are going to actually use a CDK init command. Uh, which is going to be our very first, um, you know, again, if you don't have have, have any infrastructure at all uh, with CDK, this is, this is where you want to start. Uh, and we're specifying the language here is TypeScript. Okay, I see the green check mark, all done, which is great. Uh, the cool thing about CDK init is that it created your file structure. Uh, so you can see the lib uh, folder, which we're going to be spending most of our time in. Uh, has already been created. Uh, this is just a, a template uh, for uh, your test one. Again, this is going to vary depending on the file that you the file, the file name that you've chosen. I've chose to call it test one stack, uh, and this is a boilerplate code. Uh, and then you can see your, your package that JSON file with with all your different dependencies. Um, next up, we are going to uh, add in a dependency on. Uh, our AWS CDK dash resources dash Mongo uh, and effectively what this uh, resource is doing is that it's giving you access to our thirty plus um, Mongo Dallas resources on um, Construct Hub. Um, you can see uh, you can see all of them there, which is which is great, uh, and that includes uh, the CDK L three for Atlas Basic. All right, next, uh, you can, of course, uh, write and deploy um, uh, your CDK L3 resource um, using our references and using our documentation, uh, which is totally fine. Uh, however, to get started faster, we've created this examples folder. Uh, so right in our main directory, mongodb slash AWS CDK dash resources dash mongodb atlas, you'll see this examples. And within examples, uh, I want you to click on L3 resources. And the one that is a few L3 resources we have out now uh, that are supported. Uh, the one I want you to click on is Atlas Basic TS. And what we're going to do is copy this example and we're going to go back into VS Code. All right, in uh, VS Code, we're going to go into our lib folder into this uh, .ts file. Uh, should be the only file within your, your lib folder, and we're going to paste our example. Now, again, you want to keep in mind the actual name that you chose uh, for your class. So I'm going to revert back to test one stack because that was the name of my class. Um, please don't make sure to use the, uh, the one that we have in our example already. Uh, and that's it. Uh, just to, to briefly walk through, um, this CDK L3 cluster is has, has intelligent defaults, so it's already picking for you a M10 uh, MongoDB Atlas cluster, which is great for testing and, and development. Um, we have preset names already that are being populated for the project as well as the cluster name, uh, which is which is great. Um, it allows you to get started that much faster. Uh, if all that makes sense, I'm going to save out of this guy and go back into uh, into our terminal. All right, uh, next up is my favorite command, uh, which is the CDK diff command. Um, and this is actually super helpful. It's, although it's not required, uh, it gives you a plan of all the infrastructure that is going to be uh, deployed, destroyed, uh, or modified in some way. Um, you know, and again, there's no repercussions for using it, uh, but I find it to be super helpful in just making sure that I do want to execute this, this infrastructure um, deployment. Uh, so let's uh, let's see. This, this is actually going to take um, a, a minute or so to to populate. Uh, what it's doing behind the scenes is uh, CDK synth, so it's actually um, uh, uh, synthesizing our. Uh, CDK code, our cloud, our uh, TypeScript code that we wrote, uh, you know, in our in our lib folder, uh, that TS fo uh, file, uh, and it's making that into CloudFormation um, templates uh, in JSON. Uh, again, all all abstracted away. You don't you don't have to you have to do it, but it's good to inspect it after it's done. Um, and then I'll give you a summary 
of everything. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pause and we'll come back once once it's done. All right. So it looks like the the diff uh, completed successfully, uh, and as you can see, it is creating these four resources, which is great under the hood. But again, we only executed one command when we just we just uh, the we, we copy paste that example for that one CDK algorithm resource app is basic. And underneath the hood, it's, it's going to be deploying these four cloud formation resources. The Atlas Project, Cluster, Database User, Project IP Access List, which is great. Um, and it's uh, not deleting anything. And, and um, so we're super excited about that. Uh, if that makes sense, then let's uh, let's deploy this thing. OK, uh, so to deploy, uh, the command is actually very similar to the, the diff command. at CDK deploy. Uh, and then we're doing dash dash context. We're passing two contexts, uh, two parameters. One is the organizational ID uh, and the IP address for the IP access list. And that's it. You know, if you, had, if you were going to do this via cloud formation or uh, any other programmatic means, you have a lot more inputs uh, to provide. But given the fact that we're using CDK, all that is being abstracted away. Uh, these are the only two parameters that you need to provide. Uh, and just right before we deploy, I just want to show you the, the cdk.out directory that was created after we did the diff. Um, you can actually see the, the CloudFormation template in here, the, the JSON file. Um, so you can see the project, you can see the cluster, you know, the IP access link, the database user, they're, they're all here. Uh, this entire file is about 336 lines of code. Um, so 300 plus lines of code. Uh, and that compares to our TypeScript file of uh, 78 or under 100. So that is just you know a big one in terms of productivity and, and, and maintenance. Um, so with that aside out of the way, just to make sure I save everything, getting out of this, and let's do the CDK deploy. So keep in mind that uh, we are creating a MongoDB Atlas uh, cluster under the hood, which can take anywhere from uh, seven to 10 minutes. Uh, so just keep that in mind for, for expectations purposes. Uh, I'm gonna pause and I'll come back once uh, we have something interesting in the, in the terminal. All right, uh, so it looks like um, CloudFormation has created a stack, which is great. And um, we're actually deploying this MongoDB Atlas cluster. Um, resource as part of the Atlas Basic, which is great. Um, uh, this is going to take some some time, as mentioned. Um, let me pull up the other window, and I'll show you uh, what it looks like on CloudFormation side. All right, within uh, AWS CloudFormation, you know, I'm here in the uh, the management console, and I can put this test one stack. So when I click on it, uh, so it's like create is in progress. Um, everything looks good. Um, you can see in the e events that it's it's going. It's being created one at a time. Um, looks like the a product has been created. The database user has been created. Any IP access list has been created. So it looks like we're just waiting on uh, the cluster, um, which is great. And you can actually see that in the uh, resources tab. As well, you can see the my guess is created, data is created, is just the cluster, which, which again takes seven to ten minutes to uh, to create. Uh, I'm going to hop over to the to the management console uh, for the the Atlas UI, uh, and you can see that a new project was created for us, Atlas Project Dash four six two one zero four four. Again, this is a random digits that were added after Atlas Dash Project. Uh, this is one of those intelligent defaults uh, I was mentioning. Um, if you want. Um, you can before deploying, you can you can specify the, the project name, uh, and that that can be used instead. Uh, but if you're just looking to get started quickly, this is this is a good way to do it. Uh, and then within your new project that was created, uh, you can see that there's a database user that's made for you as well, Atlas dash user, uh, and there is a uh, IP access list, which is great. Um, IP access list entry. Uh, this is based off the IP address that we, that we specified. Uh, and then, of course, as you can see, the, the database cluster is being created. So um, everything looks good. Um, I'm going to pause one last time and just show you uh, the, the final cluster being, uh, being deployed. Thank you. All right. As you can see, the Atlas cluster is now live, uh, ready for use. 
Yeah, feel free to get a connection string and start building your next app today. Uh, super excited about that. Um, We're well, going back to the uh, terminal. We can show you uh, what that looks like as well. And uh, on the terminal, you can see our test one stack with the green check mark, uh, which is great. Um, this is related to the, the CDK deploy command we did earlier. Um, everything looks uh, looks phenomenal. Everything looks great. Everything, there were no errors with the, with the infrastructure deployment. Uh, just what we wanted to see. Um, last but not least, uh, I want to mention if you are interested in, in tearing down or deploying these resources, uh, you can do that with just uh, the CDK destroy command. Um, the same as the CDK diff and same as CDK deploy, you just, you're just going to replace one word and that will tear everything down. Um, this will prevent any uh, unwanted charges onto, onto your account. Uh, with that, uh, it's been a pleasure uh, giving you a demo of our brand new integration with uh, MongoDB Atlas and the AWS CDK. Um, looking forward to seeing what, uh, what you can build next. Thank you.